name Tiffany. Welcome to my channel where I share all things pregnancy and postpartum related. I am a certified birth and postpartum doula so that means that I support women and their families on their journey from conception to postpartum. If you haven't had a chance yet, please go check out my website at www.nurturebytiff.com where you can check out my doula services that I offer. You can check out my childbirth education courses. You can also check out my merch. So the story I'm about to share with you comes out of San Antonio, Texas. Um, I saw this story the other day um, about this family who had placed their child in a daycare facility and they noticed some differences in their child's behavior and there's a reason behind that so I'm going to share this clip with you and I'll come back and we'll talk about it you're disgusting you came in with this poop I'm going to go and I'm going to beat both of y'all that's what I'm going to do I don't care if you're with your blanket I just don't want to hear you there you're fine there you're fine I'm about to throw some fish swings at some of y'all right now. Oh, I've been moving over. Sit down. Sit down. Come sit on now. You better not be playing with that soap because I'm going to leave that soap in your hands and you're going to eat with it. Get away. Go sit down. Touch it and you die. Sit down. Ooh. No! Well, then go to your bed if you're done. Lay down. Because I will end up in jail. You're an asshole. Shut the fuck up. Put your start jacking up for you. You're nasty. So that was a story. Um, I know that having children is a choice and placing your child in someone else's care is a choice. But when we as parents place our children in the care of someone else, um, that's hard to do. It's very hard to do. It, it, it's hard for people to find others who are going to take care of their children the way that they would take care of their children. Well, good parents is hard. You know what I'm saying? It's hard for you to find um, good-hearted, kind-hearted people who really take care of your children the way that you would take care of your children. And fortunately enough, you know what I'm saying, this mom had the idea, hey, let's put a recording device in our child's, you know, clothing just so we can hear what's going on. And for you to be someone who works around children and you have those type of thoughts working around children, nah, mm -mm. you need to find something else to do. You really need to find something else to do. No one's forcing you to work there. No one is saying, hey, if you don't do this, you know what I'm saying, you... you no, 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 no. Taking care of children is not easy. You know, taking care of children is a task. And I will say it until I'm blue in the face. It is not for everybody. It takes a special kind of person to be a child care provider, just like it takes a special kind of person to be a health care provider. Everybody that's in healthcare does not need to be in healthcare. You guys, people that's in healthcare for the wrong reasons, don't have any kind of empathy, compassion, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? I see it all the time. And you guys, people that are in childcare for the wrong reasons, don't have any kind of patience, no compassion, no empathy, no nothing. And you need to find something else to do. You can go take your tail down to McDonald's. You can go take your tail to freaking Hobby Lobby. You can go do something else. You don't have to work with babies. You don't have to work with children. No one's making you. And I think they said in the, um, in the story that you know she's the her and the other worker would know you know they won't be able to work with children anymore or at that daycare facility or any other facilities associated with them she they shouldn't be able to work at any facility n nowhere you you threatening talking about what this baby's gonna make you do and you know all this they're children they're innocent little children they're babies how can you be upset i don't Man, people, I don't understand. I do not understand. I don't understand. It's like, like I said, people, they just let people do anything. People can walk in off the street. You don't know where they come from, who they are, what type of background they have. And you allow these people to work with children and take care of them. And they have those type of feelings and, and that type of heart. No, 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 no. 
Um, mm -mm. I know it's going to be hard for this this mom to even, and this mom and dad to even leave their child with someone else. I'm pretty sure they're probably like, man, no. And childcare is freaking expensive, yo. Childcare is like $200 a freaking week. And you mean to tell me that I'm leaving my child with someone and they acting like this? The type of money I'm paying? Uh-uh. Oh no, they, they those were some good good parents. They went about that the right way because I know some people, probably myself included, they probably wouldn't have went in there and set some things off because no, mm -mm, mm -mm. number one, I'm paying you my money, and number two, you you're feeling like this towards my baby. No, I'm entrusting you to take care of my child. You know, don't do that. Don't do that. But anyways, I saw that story and I was like, I can't even imagine, you know? It's just like, what is wrong with people? But anyways, I just want to jump on here and um, share that story with you all really quickly. What are your thoughts on this? Um, what are your thoughts on daycares or, you know, childcare as a whole? Um, does anyone have any experiences or anything, you know, like that dealing with childcare that they would like to share? Um, and not to discredit any, because there are some really great teachers and child care providers out there you know you have good and bad and everything and um shout out to all those you know who are really great daycare providers and great great daycare teachers but we got to call the bad ones out too you got to call the bad ones out too because that type of behavior is not to be tolerated um until next time i thank you so much for watching